back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is how to add an element at the beginning of the array. The other way of asking this question is how do you insert an element at the start of an array? Right? Same thing, but in different way of asking. But the answer or the solution will be the same. Let's get started and learn all about it. This is question number 32 of the series. All right, before we start with our coding, I'll request you to please check out the ebook that I've written. The same questions, all the coding snippets are available to you in PDF format with all the answers. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, please write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. All right, the question is how to add an element at the beginning of an array. Now there can there are multiple ways of doing this uh, particular uh, task. Now there are I'll show you two different ways of doing it. One using array unshift method, and other using the spread operator. Both are really cool, and there is no right or wrong. You can use anything that you prefer. All right, so let's time for coding now. Let's get back. All right, so now let me fork it out and open up script. And all right, so let's throw in an array. Uh, we'll need to modify it right okay so let's just keep it that way and let's say throw in some values okay now what we want is we want to create a new array and that array should we should be able to insert a new value at the start that means before the number five okay so pretty cool uh, pretty simplest way is using the spread operator right like I told you so you can say new employees equal to now just now what is the value that you want to insert right um, let's say you want to insert 2 at the starting so then you'll say right after that the best part you know how much I appreciate the spread operator so just use that and you're done So if you notice, I use a lot of spread operators in solving array uh, because it, it does a lot of things. I want you guys to also start feeling it when you and start exploring it in your day to day life because that is a really, really powerful operator which can solve a lot of your problems with less lines of code. I mean, in fact, in this, it's only one, right? And most of the cases you would see just with one line or so you can do a lot of things with spread operator. As I continue and progress in this series, I will show you a lot of variations of it, but I want you also to start implementing it in your day-to-day -day programming at work. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and run this program and check this out. All right, so now you see we got two inserted at the starting, right? Now that's using the spread operator, right? Now you can do that with using array op array method, which is array unshift shift method as well, right? So I'm going to change it. Um, but usually the reason I also use spread operator is because you should never work directly on the array. Uh, the, there is a reason why I say that is because these are complex data when you work on real time enterprises. A small mistake can lead into a big one right so it's always easy to for create a new array out of it and then work and proceed with your logic rather than changing an existing one so that is something that I um, totally I am um, um, supportive of it if you would like to call that way never touch a existing array because it may cause some problems so that's all all right, so now you see there are two outputs with the same values, two, five, four. So this is using the spread operator. The next console is using the unshift method. This I do not recommend um, personally uh, for sole reason that when you try to change a, a, a data that's coming from backend or something which in real time you will not be just having an array right uh, you will have a lot of operations going on it and a lot of logic that's working on that array when you do this it may break uh, some of those changes or logic so i do not recommend unshift but you should be aware of it 
the best way is always create a new array out of it using spread operator and then proceed with your logic all right so those are the two ways how you can insert an element at the beginning of an array i hope you find them useful helpful uh, do let me know your thoughts about the two ways which one you prefer i would love to know and hear from you thank you so much for joining uh, please don't forget to get the ebook and all these coding questions that i'm covering it's already there in the ebook in pdf format um, you will get all the coding coding questions along with answers so do check it out at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions or queries please write to me at surya.arad@gmail.com thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode